on Ubuntu 7.10. Now, I prefer to do everything via the command line when it comes to installing applications, just my style, so we're going to get into aptitude. Um, there are two other ways to install everything. There's apt-get and there's also synaptic. If you're into gooey and touchy-feely eye candy, use synaptic. It's all pretty straightforward. Open synaptic, search for compiz, and it'll give you the same options as what I'm about to tell you to install. Same with apt-get, you're, but you're going to have to already know. I really don't know how to search with apt-get. Never learned how. But, here we go. First thing you're going to do is once you get Ubuntu 7.10 installed on your computer, uh, depending on your graphics card, you may need to install the restricted drivers. Now, to check on your restricted drivers, you'd click System, Administration, Restricted Drivers Manager. What this is going to do is it's going to bring up a window similar to this one, and inside that window is going to be a list. As you can see in my case, I'm using the ATI drivers, but because I wanted the full system as far as opposed to the Ubuntu standard drivers, I used NV to install, which we'll get into in probably one of my later videos. But in either case, what you can do is you'll open up your terminal. You can go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. Inside your terminal, you'll type in sudo uh, aptitude search you don't need the sudo for a search but get you get into the habit of using sudo it's just the way ubuntu likes things but for sudo search type in compiz c o m p i z type in your super user password the one that you actually inputted at the beginning what it's going to do is going to output this list and inside this list you're going to see where it says compiz config settings manager that's what you want. So for your command line, you're going to type in sudo aptitude install. And you're going to go up here and you can highlight. And if you've got one of the scrollers on your mouse that actually push, you highlight that and push that. Or just copy, control, uh, copy and paste it. But you're going to inst sudo aptitude install compiz config, one word, hyphen settings hyphen manager and hit enter. It's going to go through and it's going to get everything that it needs for it. In my case, I've already got it installed, so it's going to be pretty quick, and yours is going to take slightly longer. Then it's going to say done. Okay. Now, you've got the config settings manager installed, but you now you don't have a way to change your window borders. So what you're going to install next is going to be Emerald. So you do an sudo aptitude search. And you're going to do emerald, M-E-R-A-L-D, M-E-M-E-R-A-L-D. <laughs> and it's going to come up with another list. Yet again, you're going to type sudo, aptitude, install, highlight emerald, paste it, hit enter. It's going to go through its list. It's going to say the pack. In my case, it's already installed. It's going to take slightly longer for you. Now you've got Compiz and you've got Emerald installed. If you had to re if you had to do your restricted if you had to use restricted drivers, your system should have already rebooted, so everything should already be there. Now, once you get those two applications installed, you're going to want to set up your custom applications as far your custom themes and your custom styles as far as everything is concerned. So what you'll do is you will click on System and you go to Preferences and you'll click Appearance parents will bring you into this window here. You're going to click on visual effects and in my case it's going to, it's custom but for when you first install you're going to want to select extra or if custom is available select custom and then select preferences. When you click preferences it's going to bring up the compiz config settings manager. In there you can go through and you can select all of your high speed little plugins as they're called. In my case I like the desktop cube gives the ability to do well this a high speed little rotation cube there as well as a few different few other little tidbits and great things um, like the window previews and the way you switch desktops and so on and so forth now once you get all of that installed you go through and you select click close and it'll, you'll be ready to rock and roll that way now, as far as your themes or your window decorations go, you'll click Systems, you'll go to Preferences, 
you'll click the Emerald Theme Manager, and once that one loads, in my case, I've got a whole bunch of different themes here. It'll give you it'll give you the option to edit themes. Now, if you change the engine, it'll give you the different window borders. But if you go to gnomelook.org, gnome-look.org, and go through and get um, either Burrell or Compiz themes, it'll give you the same themes there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do that.